years ago Amerindian people used to traverse this area here. I mean we are not the first people in who came here are my grandparents. It had people before me, it had the Atarads nation. They are not here anymore because we don't know they finish. We don't know if the Caribs sell them out, but they just finish. Only the Makushi people left back. And they well that's how we know uh, how the place how we call Ayakama the place of refuge. President Hyde at the 1989 Heads of Government meeting, the Commonwealth Secretariat, um, offered the Wakrama Forest for research in science and sustainable development. In 1996, the Wakrama Act was signed in Parliament and that gave birth to the Centre. So in 1996, the Wakrama Centre was formed, hence now it's our 20th anniversary. Um, since then, as you know, it's uh, a joint venture between the government of Guyana and the Commonwealth Secretariat. Essentially, look guys, here's this pristine piece of land. Take it now and do investigation because we're recognizing there's the value in forests, there's climate change, there's all kinds of things happening. So that's really the, the history. And if you look 20 years later, Iwakrama's mission and mandate is still very relevant. In terms of conservation and successful conservation, one of the very important aspects is capacity development. Training and development of what we call conservation leaders. First we have the aspects from the communities, so starting with our wildlife clubs where you start with kids from age 7 up into their early 20s and also the other professional programs that we've had for community members including things like ranger training, tour guiding training and so forth. These programs have really allowed for communities to develop into young conservation leaders and where we're seeing these persons now is in positions for instance there are two shells of their village, they're within the community leadership, the, 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 the village councils, they're within management arenas within the area, even at Iwakrama. Several of um, the young managers that we have here have come through either the wildlife club system or the ranger training or tour guiding training, and now they're in positions of management. I was a ranger. I was trained by Iwakrama. I worked there. I do, I do my internship as Passes to base tourism. I did a course and then I did my rest of interim three months ship it. I come as a log scaler working in the forest. So I know a bit about logging. I know, you know, so I could walk into my forest and I could actually say that this part are, um, you know, are like they are using it over too much because I know that I work and I know what how you must fail and whatever. So as a ranger, I get a lot of knowledge. Probably a core partnership of Evocram is our relationship with the communities. We work with 20 indigenous, mostly Makushi um, communities within the North Rupununi. One community actually lies within the boundaries of Ewokrama, that's Fairview Village. And then we have the other 19 odd communities that are south. The Iwakrama Forest is seen as an ancestral area or ancestral home of the Makushi people. So they have a right um, to have a say in how this area is managed and how it's developed. So through that collab collaborative management agreement um, that we've signed with them and it's been updated a couple times and it was just the final update was in January 2016. It lays out responsibilities for co-management. So they have actually a very direct say of what we do and how we manage this particular area. As a community in their they protected area, we have our own land title, 
we live as partners, we are like we are in marriage because we signed this agreement and Ayurkama cannot make a decision without us and we cannot make a decision without Ayurkama because we have this co-management, you know, this agreement. When I go to other meetings, to NTC or to bigger meetings, I hear to show raise their concerns and their concerns about logging, people exploiting them with mining and water problem. And when I sit and listen and when I think about my community, you know, I feel that like we are so protected by Ayakrama.